Let's do one, and then we'll see. Okay. Howdy. Hey there. Hey, thanks for tuning into this video where Nikos Dimotakis and I are going to tell you a little bit more about our upcoming sessions for the Karma Short Courses. We're both really excited to have an opportunity to connect with y'all. So let's get started. We'll begin with uh, Nikos. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, I'm Nikos Dimotakis. I got my PhD from Michigan State University in 2011, and I'm currently a professor in the management department at Oklahoma State. Uh, my work focuses on effective and motivational processes. And recently, I've uh, had a lot of emphasis on contrast, change, trajectories, expectations, and so forth. Joel, how about you? Hey, so I'm Joel Koopman. I'm a professor at Texas A&M University. I also got my PhD from Michigan State in 2014. Uh, my research interests largely focus on what I call studies of the mundane. I'm just really interested in the extent to which people have uh, what we would say are typical general ways that they tend to feel, that they tend to act, that others tend to treat them. And I'm really interested then in what happens on a given day when something happens that's not that typical, when you're happier than usual, someone's ruder than usual, what happens from there. Turns out that's a really, really good research interest to be examined with within individual studies, which is what we're going to be talking about here. So with that, let's get to the good stuff. Uh, Nicholas and I, we're doing this video together, but actually we're teaching separate courses for Karma. Yeah, those courses overlap quite a bit, and so we decided to have some fun with that and carry it into our video itself. Because how long have you been doing within individual research? It's actually around 20 years now. I started during my PhD program back when we had to do the stuff on PDAs, which was less fun than what we do right now. Uh, but I do, I guess I do kind of like this sort of studies because I'm still running them, you know, right now. Joel, how about you? When did you start? Uh, so actually, you would know exactly when I started. You're the one that initially trained me how to do all of this. It was my first semester at Michigan State in 2009. Uh, since then, in the years and almost a little over a decade at this point now that we've been doing this, we've had the privilege of watching, but also in participating and in some ways guiding this field as it's taken shape. Um, I mean, if I just think about the number of people that you've trained and had an impact on in terms of analysis, you've been teaching for Southern Management Association and Karma for close to a decade now, right? That's right. Uh, I've done the SMA multi-level and then with in-person uh, workshops for approximately 10 years now, and I've been uh, teaching at Karma for three or four and hope to continue. And to a large extent, those classes and the lessons that we got from it, you know, where people did well, where people didn't do well, what people understood instinctively, what they did not, uh, formed the basis of the sessions that I've initially done for Karma. So um, that let us uh, focus on things such as, you know, how within person estimates are derived from variance partitioning to setting up basic models, to testing more complex stuff like moderation and mediation. And then, you know, we're gonna talk more about all of that in depth, but also how to interpret models, how to make sure that they run correctly. So basically the idea is giving people everything that they'll need to successfully put together and hopefully publish a paper involving within person work. Um, there's also a fun part comparing and contrasting this to other approaches such as growth modeling, episodic designs, which really help you understand the method. But actually, I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here because your class actually comes before mine. So what are you talking about, Joe? Oh, so that's right. So actually, my talk is going to be focused on experience sampling specifically. I know that you analytically would be talking about experience sampling, but what you talk about actually is sort of applicable more, more broadly. So I am all about experience sampling. My entry into that topic comes from, if you look at the literature, there's so many good chapters out there talking about experience sampling with individual, a lot of the nuances associated of when you have this data, how do you respond to reviewer questions, all these types of things. And so when I initially started doing this, uh, a version of this for Southern Management Association uh, in 2017, 
um, I really wanted to come at it from the very beginning, where it was actually talking to people who may or may not know if they wanted to do an experience sampling study yet, or had read about them, had colleagues who had done them, but really didn't even know what goes into it. And so that's really where my uh, course will, will begin. We're going to start off by defining what does it even mean to be doing an experience sampling study? And we're going to talk about a host of conceptual issues that have to be understood before we even proceed even one or two more steps down the line. Once we get some of the basics of that language and foundation built, then we're going to actually start getting into some really fun operational things where we talk about uh, how many times did you send surveys during the day for how many weeks? And even more than that, how do we schedule these surveys to get to people when we want them to do it? If you have a survey that is intended to be taken when people are starting their work day, how do you actually make sure they get that survey? at the start of their work day. And so I'm going to really pull back the curtain on survey design and walk people through how to design and administer these studies in Qualtrics. That sounds like a fantastic session. Can I come? I'm hoping so. As it turns out, aren't you going to be there on day three, giving a bit of a preview and talking about some analysis to attendees in mind? That's right. I'll be there to add some discussion and analysis and then set the stage for my class, kind of a foundation for it, which follows yours. And who knows, I may come on other days too, just to hear what you have to say, and maybe I can chime in. Oh, well, that's awesome, because I'm definitely planning on being in, in your session. Some of the most fun I've had is just having the opportunity to watch you over the years as you've given this session over and over uh, in various venues and having a chance to uh, participate. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually going to be talking a little bit on day one of your class too. That's right. So please register for one of our classes or both if you're able. This promises to be a great week learning about with an individual data collection and analysis, and it's going to be a great time. Thank you. Hope to see you all there.